He's here! You're Dr. O'Connor, aren't you? What's this? Who are you, people? You there, turn off that camera. I'm Ann Anderson, a reporter from Zaka TV. You're Dr. O'Connor, aren't you? Would you please allow us to interview you? What in the world are you talking about? You're making absolutely no sense. Dr. O'Connor, we have reason to believe that you know what is behind this mysterious fog. What is causing the gruesome monster attacks all over Chicago? We want to hear the truth directly from you. What you're talking about? Why on earth are you bothering me? This is completely outrageous. You were supposed to meet a man named Glenn Buckland here, weren't you? Huh? How did you know that? Did you talk to him? Why isn't Glenn here? He's dead. What? Glenn? He was killed by a monster. He was attacked in the basement of the library. We tried to save him, but... I see. And you want to know more about what killed him, is that it? So you do know something, isn't that true? I'll tell you about it then. The monster that killed him... is the military, the government, and Zaka Group. What are you talking about? The military, the government, and Zaka Group? <laughs> Trying to use that brain of yours, are you? Zaka Group is a huge enterprise made up of a parent company and some 1,300 subsidiaries. Did you ever stop to wonder how it got so big? Just what are you insinuating? DNA, that's how. DNA? <laughs> I see TV turns even the brains of those who appear on it to mush. You must at least know that Zaka Group has a patent on its DNA manipulation technology. I'm not stupid. Of course I know that much. But I'm sure your tiny brain has never imagined what Zaka could do with that technology. You sure know how to make people angry, don't you? <laughs> Soon you humans won't be enjoying such superior attitudes anymore. What in the world are you babbling about? Briscoe, there's something wrong with this guy. All right, all right. Calm down, both of you. I'm sorry, Dr. O'Connor. Why don't we all have a drink? We can talk again after we've had a chance to relax. Why do all of you turn to alcohol in every situation? Usually you hold yourselves in check. But then you use alcohol as a crutch and expect it to solve all of your problems. Isn't it all rather ridiculous? Besides, my body can't process alcohol anymore. In the end, no matter what I tell you, it's not like it'll save you from getting infected. What is this lunatic talking about? Hold on, Briscoe. Dr. O'Connor, what do you mean, infected? The virus. Virus? What virus? Is your head an empty shell as well? The virus is what's behind everything that's been going on here in the city. You've seen them, haven't you? The people being transformed. Now, wait just one minute. People turning into monsters? DNA? A virus? <laughs> now you're finally beginning to catch on. Are you talking about... Biological weapons? Making viruses on purpose? Why would anyone do that? Isn't it wonderful? It's the latest form of bioweapon. The enemies are infected by the virus, and they turn into monsters and start killing each other. Its beauty is in its efficiency. Wouldn't you agree? 
But I'm afraid this virus has been a failure. Those infected can't be controlled and their sense organs degenerate. They display excessive reactions to loud noises which attract them. And they just don't make good weapons. How did the virus get spread all over Chicago? I don't know. <gasps> Come to think of it. About a week ago, a small plane of unknown origin crashed into Lake Michigan. Could that have been the cause? Yes, it very well could have been. Don't tell me you don't have a way to stop the spread and development of this virus. This guy is completely bonkers. Of course there's a way. When making a virus, you obviously want to make a vaccine at the same time. This vaccine prevents people from getting infected in the first place. Uh, for those who have already turned into monsters, the vaccine euthanizes them mercifully. If you have a vaccine like that, why don't you use it? The military carried off most of the vaccine. They took the lab animals too. I think they said something about transporting everything by train. They promised joint research, but they stole it all without contributing a thing. That's why I just can't trust the military. This is all so horrible. Hey, give us that medicine. There's still time to save everybody. <laughs> why, why do you humans always insist on remaining human? <laughs> What's the matter? <coughs> it looks like the symptoms of my infection are beginning to show. I... I, I have the vaccine right here. Then why don't you take it? I, I don't want it. It unfortunately can't be used in its current form. So what are we supposed to do? Why? Why do you want to know? You want to play hero? <laughs> Just tell us. What can we do? <laughs> the virus I created. It's now here. Inside my own body. It's wonderful. A new form of life! So beautiful! This guy is really crazy! Alright. Make sure you get all this on tape. I'm making a report. Take a look at this, viewers. The man who created the virus that turns people into monsters is now just about to turn into a monster himself. Why did this man ever create such a virus? And why is he allowing that virus to overpower his own body now? Could it be that the guilt he carries for his sins is making him do it? Hey! That's enough! Run already!